Hello humans, how art thou today? Doing pretty dandy myself. I do apologize once again, I have taken a long time to make a video. Um, I've just been super busy, super stressed, a lot of stuff going on, but I will get back to a regular schedule doing at least one video a week, either Thursday or Sunday. Probably gonna be Thursday, but uh, I'm still thinking, I don't know. So anyways, um, I haven't done a movie review in a really long time. So today I'm going to be doing a movie review slash conversation about the new Lion King adaptation. But without further ado... Alright, very good. Now that spoiler warning has been so eloquently slapped in your face, let's go ahead and talk about the movie. The irony is that this is now probably the fourth take that I've done this clip, but... I've been interrupted so many times from my phone dying to my camera dying to different weird sound effects to lighting screwing up. So hopefully this is the one. None of you knew all that happened because of the powers of camera magic. Anyways, so yes, this movie kind of sucked. Uh, compared to all the different Disney movies, even some of the adaptations, I would rank it the worst adaptation they have ever done in recent years, like remakes, adaptations, stuff like that. Um, the first thing we're going to go over is the hyper-realism of the movie. You're going to notice that it, it, none of the animals do what animals can't do other than talking, which is kind of annoying. So when they like attack each other, they, they bat each other. There's no walking on their hind legs unless they can normally do that. There's no dancing or fun stuff. It's all only what an animal can do, which I see what they were going with here. Sorry if you guys hear the cars. I see what they're going with on that, but your animals are already talking. We're fine with that. We've seen Lion King. We want to see Pumbaa dance and be like, so you want to have some bacon? Ta! We want to see the funny, quirky humor that we saw in the cartoon. We don't care that it's not realistic because a talking lion and a talking pig aren't realistic. So moving on from that, that part was really annoying and practically ruined most of the scenes. You'll never see um, a Pumbaa doing the hulu or what, a hula. You won't see Rafiki beating the crap out of things with his staff. His staff is crappy anyways. Uh, his music is gone. The uh, Sunday song, the squash banana. All the quirky fun stuff. Heck, most of Rafiki's lines are gone. He's a boring monkey in this movie. Um, now, moving all that aside, and that's already enough to suck, the recasting that they did was just abysmal. The fact that they thought they could get away with replacing Scar with some other actor and not Jeremy Irons is ridiculous and unacceptable. He is iconic. He is Scar. This other guy, his lines were flat. I felt like I was drinking a flat soda when I wanted his own pop! Uh, or as my uh, friend Ruby would say, pop, pop! Anyways, only probably one or two of you get that reference. Um, so, what was it? From three to five, can you act like you have more than one word vocabulary? All right, enough references for those who uh, know what I'm talking about. But, Scar is, is Jeremy Irons. This other guy is terrible. It's absolutely awful. And the lion looks cool, but I kind of like the red lion. Sorry, I like the cartoon. Um, yeah, his voice acting was terrible. Uh, it just Oh, and Jeremy Irons said they didn't even approach him. They were cool with James Earl Jones, but didn't want him. Hmm, I wonder. So that sucked. The voice actor for Nala, Beyonce, was ridiculous. It was the most idiotic twang, and she's a terrible actress in general, and she's a terrible voice actress, even worse. Whenever they put her, I think it was, was it Dan whatever Glover or something like that he was okay as Simba Rewatch the movie and watch the scenes with Simba and Nala I felt like I was watching some like extreme I don't even know it felt like I was in the middle of the I don't even know how to put this correctly they basically just like started talking with like crazy like uh accents like it was terrible like they were very it felt very hip-hop and, and I hate being like a douchebag and saying it that way but like listen to the way they talk like she was even like let's go get some grubs adding an s to it and like all these different things and like i thought he might be like i thought he might go up to nala and be like sup and have like a bandana on like that's how ghetto fied it was that's the word i was looking for ghetto fied it was truly ghetto fied as soon as nala and simba got together and i'm sorry I do not care if that makes you butt hurt or whatever. If you watch the movie and watch the original, it's ridiculous. Like, there's, she's a terrible voice actress, and it could have been anybody else that maybe had a similar age to a young lioness or a, or a young adult 
lioness is what they were going for not some older lady voicing a young actress our young lion it's kind of hard because they're not really real and the age difference is kind of odd but anyways it was super super ghetto and super dumb and all the lines fell flat it, as soon as she started talking i was just like man this is so dumb so yeah voice actresses and actors were absolutely awful um the only one that was good was well there was two well hmm the actor for scar was good if I didn't know what Jeremy Irons sounded like. And James Earl Jones, why he didn't sound as good as he used to, is of course iconic. The, uh, I don't know who it was that did Timon, but he did really well as well. Um, he almost sounded like the original guy. And, uh, uh who was it that does it? Pumbaa? Um, well, yeah, the guy, uh, he's, he's kind of chunky, uh, he makes a lot of funny movies, and Pineapple Express, I don't remember his name. Um, Zack and Mary make a porno. He was really good too, sounded just like the old Pumbaa, but he couldn't sing with crap. And he did not sing like, when he was like, and I, or wait, what was it? What, what was that? When I was a young one, hog! Like he had that like, it's supposed to be like really, not was bad, but probably better than him because he just could not hit that note and neither could I anyways. But honestly, he couldn't sing with crap. And you, it was like literally like everything was falling flat in that movie. So yeah, um... Absolutely awful. I I highly recommend not going to see it. There are a couple of cool things. Oh, not having Whoopi Goldberg and a lot of the other hyenas is ridiculous. Whoopi was iconic. Uh, all of the iconic actors of the original were amazing. But, uh, retracting that back a little bit, there are some cool scenes. They had this new, like, mini-boss hyena. She was cool. Uh, I enjoyed watching Nala and her fight. What, was it Nala? I think it was Nala. And, um, I, there was just, like, there was a lot of missing, alright, so going back a little bit, there was a lot of missing lines, missing scenes, they didn't have the, um, the hula dance, they didn't have Rafiki singing, um, you didn't have Scar yell out, Sarabe! Um, there was just a lot of really cool things that were gone that I, that I, I was waiting for, and it was not there, um, but there's also some really cool add-ons too. Like I said, that, that new hyena was really cool and the fight scenes were really awesome. I did enjoy those. And my gut still tore into like 50,000 pieces watching a Mufasa die. And the fight scene in the beginning with Mufasa beating the crap out of the hyenas. I was like, yes! It was absolutely amazing. So that I, I will give them credit on. There, there are some good stuff. So I ranked it a 6.5 out of 10. It is something you want to see, like a dollar theater, two dollar theater, or rent on uh, you know TV or Netflix or whatever. It's not something you want to go see uh, at theaters. It is absolutely terrible in the movie theater and disappointing if you saw the original. Now, if you've never seen the original, you might like it. You might like it a lot, actually. You won't like Nala because Beyonce is a terrible voice actress and it makes you face palm because you can tell that she's old and her lines fall flat. But you will like Simba's voice actor. You'll like Scar because you don't know what Jeremy Irons sounds like. So you would like the movie if you haven't seen it. Um, the better adaptations out there, obviously Aladdin was good. It still wasn't one of the top ones. You can't replace Robin Williams. But Aladdin was good. Um, obviously Beauty and the Beast was fantastic. Even with the creepy candlestick. But uh, yeah, Lion King, not so much, guys. So I highly recommend not going to see that. Anyways, that rant being said... Hopefully that gave you a little bit of a filler as to why the movie sucked pretty much in a sense um, and why you shouldn't go see and waste your money because you will more than likely walk away somewhat disappointed by something and that did not happen in the other Lion King. When you watch the cartoon, the only thing that you were disappointed on was that Mufasa wasn't really alive whenever he like Rafiki pulled back the water. That was it. Other than that, like nothing was uh, missing in that, in, in that movie. That movie was epic and amazing. But... That is all, folks. Uh, I'm glad my rant possibly entertained you. I should have a video coming up the next week or so. I got another Munch Pack unboxing that I gotta do. Some other review stuff I gotta do. Might do some more movie reviews, some more random message stuff, keto stuff. I do not know. But I'd like to thank you guys all for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I will see you all next week now.